Okay, I got my live button. Ed, give me a thumbs up when you see me. Or anybody else who jumps on. First person to give me a thumbs up wins a car. No, not really. <laughs> Gosh, if I got everybody to rush and hurry up and, and jump on, maybe. <laughs> All right, I got Ed's thumbs up. Okay, hi guys. All right, first of all, I said that I was going to jump on here in the morning because I was going to do a crock pot recipe with you guys. Well, I forgot. I had so much going on this morning, new month, new goals, getting everybody started up for the, get, getting things set up for the new um, jump program that we do, all of that, that um, we also had somebody come out and give us, look at our kitchen remodel and give us um, some ideas on that. So it was just a busy day. I never got it done. By the time I was getting ready to leave to go to Pilates, I was like, oh crap. It's a little too late to do a, um, a crock pot meal. So anyway, still quick and easy, still something that I actually did a double batch of last time and then um, put in the freezer for a night like this when I'm, it's late and um, last minute and hello Meg, how are you? I don't think I have seen you in forever. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you what we do with spaghetti squash, and um, I have some, this is leftover hamburger and um, uh, pork. I um, made something else. I don't remember what I made. I made something else in a keto kitchen that I made, like a, I had a double batch of it, and um, so I just went ahead and fried it up. Um, I put it in a Ziploc bag. I labeled it and I put it in the freezer. So um, I'm just, I just grabbed that. Um, I've got that in here. I'm gonna get this going. This is still even partially frozen. I'm gonna use some Rayo spaghetti sauce. Um, I like this brand because this brand uh, doesn't have any added sugars. There's lots of different varieties of it. So I'm gonna use some of this in here. As you guys are jumping on, please say hello. Um, hi, Angie. Thanks for jumping on. I haven't seen you in a couple days. As you guys are jumping on, say hello. Let me know where you are coming from and what was your weather like today? We had a beautiful day. We still have snow. There's still some snow left, but um, sun was shining and it was, it was great. It was beautiful. So I think her high might have been like 47 or something like that, but it was enough to melt some of the snow. So super glad. So let me know what, um, thank you. I thank you very much, Meg. She said, I look great. So, um, let me know what your, um, what your temperatures were today. What kind of weather did you have wherever you are? I am coming to you live from California. Um, we don't usually get this much snow, so this is a little bit, uh, a little bit out of the ordinary, but Hi there, no, oh, you don't have any electricity where you are? No snow, it's warm with thunder showers. Oh no, Angie, I don't remember where you live. What what state do you live in? Um, so anyway, <laughs> all right, so this is how I do spaghetti squash. There are a couple different ways that you can do it. I think I want a little more in there. Um, you can cut it this way, short ways. You could cut it long ways. In the past, I have taken it and like taken a gigantic knife and just tried to stab into it to get it some um, holes into it. So what I have started doing lately, the last couple times, and this has worked pretty good, is I've taken the whole spaghetti squash, put it in the microwave for five minutes. That seems to soften it enough so that I could take a big knife and cut it in half. I've also recently started cutting it this way instead of long ways. I don't know that there's an advantage one way or the other. This way fits in a casserole dish like this, which fits into the microwave a little bit easier. 
I'm also going to put everything in here um, and pop it under, uh, pop it back in the microwave just to melt the cheese. So I'm going to use my um, of gloves. Do you guys have these? Anybody have of gloves? And um, to hold on to this and to scrape it out, I'll show you kind of what it looks like. Um, so as you are jumping on, let me know if you caught me live. Hi, Sue. Thanks for jumping on. I know I am super late. Um, I was just saying I was supposed to do, um, a, I was supposed to do a crock pot recipe with you guys this morning and I totally forgot about it. And so, um, I'm just getting back from Pilates. It is after seven o'clock here, but I just thought I'd jump on and see in case you are new to keto, you might be new to spaghetti squash. So this is kind of how I do it. So if you have any other ideas or tips or tricks about it, make sure you put it down there in the comments because I would love to know if I'm providing any value for you with any of my recipes, my tips, my tricks, my product reviews, grocery hauls, any of that, please put value down there in the comments. It gives me the thumbs up and lets me know that I am bringing you something that is of value to you. Hi, saw you in just before, oh, just before you're going to bed, yeah. Yeah, so I guess seven, eight, nine, nine o'clock central, 10 o'clock Eastern. Sorry guys, some of you all just have to catch it on the replay. All right, so now you want this to be super, super soft and this is all I'm gonna do. I'm literally gonna, so when I put it in the microwave for the five minutes and then I cut it in half, I scoop out most of the guts on the inside because I wanna get rid of all of the seeds. I want all the stringy stuff, but I don't want the seeds. If you like the seeds, you can toast them, salt, pepper them, and go ahead and toast them. But I just, um, yeah, so I just, I just threw those out because I'm not, I'm, 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 I do like seeds, but not necessarily spaghetti squash ones. So this is super soft. So it just is going to shred right off of here. Super easy. I put some butter on here, a little bit of salt, um, when I put it in the microwave and I microwaved it. So once I cut it in half, so five minutes to make it soft enough to cut it in half. Once I cut it in half, I put it in back in the microwave and I cooked it for um, 20 minutes is what I needed. I did two rounds of 10 just to check on it and um, stab it and see if it's done. As Soon as it is soft, it is done. All right, so see you guys. It's like, just like spaghetti. So I'm gonna put that, here's the other one. It's got, like I said, it's got some butter, it's got some salt. I usually put pepper, I think I just missed, I missed that, so. Um, my meat is leftover meat from something that I made last week or, or a week or two or whatever from a keto kitchen. I had some extra hamburger and pork, so I went ahead, threw it in the pan, cooked it up, and then labeled it, put it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag, and that's what we're gonna use as our as our sauce. All right, so I'm gonna take this. This is our meat. Whatever meat you want to do it with, turkey. I've done it. I've actually done it with shredded up chicken, and um, that was really good. So, however you like, kind of your spaghetti. Uh, meat sauce. Do you like it really meaty? Do you like it really saucy? Ed ten, it likes it really meaty, so that's why I'm making it. I'm also going to put, this is a Prego's, Prego's Roasted Garlic Parmesan. I love red sauce and I love white sauce and I love the two of them together. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of this in there. This isn't, this is dirty keto. Okay, if you are following a strict keto diet, if you are counting macros, if you are eating clean, this would be considered on the dirty keto list because of the ingredients that's in it. Although the ingredients are not, not bad. So, I'm, I mean, I, there's nothing in here that I'm not feeling okay about eating. If there's also no, there's like one gram of sugar in here and not even very much, what are the carbs in this? Mm three grams of carbs in this whole container. So it is mostly heavy whipping cream and garlic and Parmesan cheese. That's pretty much what it is. So I'm okay with that. Rayos is the spaghetti sauce I use. Rayos also makes a white sauce. Just so just a little bit. I just, it's gonna, I guess we're gonna have pink sauce. 
Um, I just like that combination. I like that little bit of garlic. I like that little extra cream. All right. I'm gonna pour this in here. Mix this all up. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna sprinkle some um, mozzarella cheese on the top. And then I'm gonna pop, pop it back in the microwave just long enough to melt the cheese or you could pop it in uh, the broiler. If I had a little bit more time with you guys, I would do it in the broiler. Um, that would make your, um, the, the top of your cheese all nice and bubbly and kind of toasty. That would be really good. And um, this is our dinner. And like I said, because I used leftover meat, oops, I got a couple seeds in there. Sneaky seeds. It's all right. We'll catch it. So that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for jumping on with, you, with me. I know it's late. Um, if this is something that you would make, drop some hearts down there in the comments. Share this out to some family, to some friends, to some groups. Share it out to anybody who needs a quick, low-carb, keto-friendly meal. Um, you know, you might have found me through a share. As a matter of fact, let me know in the comments where you found me. Hi, Alexis. Thank you. Hi, Ella. Thank you for jumping on. I know I'm super late, but uh, this is dinner. This is how we're doing dinner. So... I just thought I would jump on and show you real quick what, what we're doing. It's late dinner for us. I have Pilates on Wednesday, so I don't get home until close to 6 o'clock. So, late dinner for us. I was supposed to do a... I was supposed to do a crock pot dish, and I forgot to put it on this morning. So, all right. That's it, guys. I will do a picture. We'll let you know what it looked like when it came out. Like I said, I think popping it under the broiler will be best. You'll get it all nice and bubbly hot. And um, thanks for jumping on. I really appreciate you guys. If I brought you any value, please put value down there in the comments. Make sure you let me know. Did you get me live with the little live button there? If not, you caught me at a later date. Put replay down there in the comments. It's always good for me to kind of judge where, um, where my people are when they're available. Are you available in the afternoon or later nights or what i know half of you are sleeping <laughs> um so thanks guys for jumping on i appreciate you and i will i won't see